One of the most amazing natural phenomena in Bolivia, if not the whole of the continent, is the extraordinary Uyuni salt flats, the largest and most impressive salt flats anywhere on the planet. The salt flats were formed 25,000 years ago when a seismic shift in the continental plates drained a vast inland saltwater lake, leaving behind a perfect white crystal plain of salt. At 12,000 square kilometers, it stretches as far as the eye can see, broken only by a few dark cactus-covered islands. Okay, so what Jose and Bruno are doing behind us here is digging through a natural hole in the, the salt flat. There are eight underground rivers, of which this is one, um, flowing underneath here, and they're actually cracking out some salt crystal. Ooh, Whoa! Ooh, that's been good. And there we are. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. The other thing that's quite amazing about this salt flat is that it's made up of all these billions of hexagons, kind of like a massive honeycomb. And this just goes on and on and on forever. This is 12,000 square kilometers. But it's not just the lake itself that's so interesting. It's also about the people that live and have lived around it. Hiking up a ridge below Tanupu Volcano to get a better view, we were led into a cave. Here we found the mummified bodies of two men, two women and two infants. Members of the Uruquila tribe that legend says made their way overland from Mongolia 2,500 years ago, our guide told us they were a noble family, probably farmers, that lived and died here 700 years ago. Today, people still eke an existence out of the land around them. Some farm llamas and quinoas on the lower slopes of the volcanoes. Others make a living from the salt itself, either by cutting it up into blocks for the building trade, or for animal salt licks, or by drying it out, crushing it up, bagging it up, and selling it as table salt. There are some wonderful hotels where almost everything is made of the salt, such as here at Luna Salada. These offer a great place to stay, both comfortable and spectacular. But if you're looking for un noche muy romántica, there really is only one option, and that's to enjoy a night out on the salt flats in this amazing Airstream camper. And a uni isn't only about the salt flats. This is a train graveyard just outside Uyuni on the edge of the salt flats. These trains were brought in in the 1930s and 40s to help with the mining industry. Interestingly, most of them were made in Britain. Visiting the Uyuni salt flats is sure to be a highlight of any trip to Bolivia.